Ever wondered why some people develop lung problems even if they've never smoked a day in their lives? The truth is, our lungs face a constant battle against environmental toxins, many of which we breathe in every single day without even realizing it. From air pollution and cigarette smoke to workplace hazards like coal dust and silica, these invisible threats contribute to millions of deaths worldwide each year. They don't just damage the lungs in the short term, they accelerate aging, weaken lung function, and increase the risk of serious diseases like COPD and pulmonary fibrosis. But how exactly do these toxins wreak havoc on our respiratory system? It all comes down to oxidative stress, chronic inflammation, and the breakdown of our lungs' natural repair mechanisms. The more we understand about these processes, the better we can protect our lungs and slow down the damage, which is what we're going to discuss in this video. So keep watching to learn how inhaled toxins affect lung health and what you can do about it to protect your respiratory system. To learn how environmental toxins affect the lungs, it's important to first understand the basic autonomy and function of the respiratory system. The lungs are designed to facilitate gas exchange, allowing oxygen to enter the bloodstream and carbon dioxide to be expelled. Air travels through the trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles before reaching the alveoli, tiny air sacs where gas exchange occurs. The alveoli are lined with a thin epithelial layer and supported by a network of elastic and collagen fibers in the extracellular matrix, which maintain the lung's structural integrity. As we age, the connective tissue in the lungs naturally weakens, leading to the dilation of air spaces and the collapse of small airways. This reduces the surface area available for gas exchange, resulting in declining lung function and a reduced capacity for physical activity. However, inhaled environmental exposures can accelerate this process, causing premature lung aging and increasing the risk of respiratory diseases. One of the primary ways inhaled exposures damage the lungs is by generating oxidative stress. When we breathe in harmful substances like tobacco smoke or air pollutants, these agents trigger the production of reactive oxygen species in the lungs. While the body has natural antioxidant defenses to neutralize reactive oxygen species, Chronic exposure can overwhelm these systems, leading to an imbalance between oxidants and antioxidants. This oxidative stress damages cellular components, including DNA, proteins, and lipids, and disrupts normal cellular functions. Over time, this damage accumulates, leading to epigenetic instability, mitochondrial dysfunction, and cell cycle arrest in key lung cells. For example, type 2 alveolar epithelial cells which play a critical role in repairing the alveolar lining after injury, become senescent and lose their ability to regenerate. Similarly, lung fibroblasts, which are responsible for maintaining the extracellular matrix, produce abnormal collagen, leading to fibrosis and impaired lung structure. In addition to oxidative stress, inhaled exposures also trigger chronic inflammation in the lungs. When harmful particles are inhaled, they activate the immune system, leading to the recruitment of inflammatory cells like microphages and neutrophils. While inflammation is a normal response to injury or infection, chronic inflammation can be destructive. Inflammatory cells release cytokines and other signaling molecules that perpetuate the inflammatory response, causing further damage to lung tissue. This persistent inflammation not only exacerbates oxidative stress, but also impairs the lung's ability to repair itself. For instance, multipotent mensochymal stem cells, which are essential for regenerating damaged lung tissue, become depleted or dysfunctional due to repeated inflammatory insults. As a result, the lung's regenerative capacity is diminished, leading to aberrant structural remodeling and premature aging. The cumulative effects of oxidative stress and inflammation are particularly evident in age-related respiratory diseases like COPD and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. COPD is characterized by chronic bronchitis, mucus hypersecretion, and the destruction of alveolar walls leading to emphysema. These changes reduce the lung's elasticity and impair its ability to expel air, resulting in shortness of breath and reduced exercise tolerance. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, on the other hand, is defined by the progressive scarring of lung tissue, which thickens the interstitial space and reduces gas exchange. Both diseases are associated with accelerated lung aging and inhaled environmental exposures are major risk factors. For example, cigarette smoke is the leading cause of COPD, while occupational exposures to silica and coal dust are strongly linked to pulmonary fibrosis. 
These exposures not only initiate the disease process, but also exacerbate its progression by further damaging lung tissue and impairing repair mechanisms. Another hallmark of lung aging is cellular senescence, a state in which cells lose their ability to divide and function properly. Senescent cells accumulate in the lungs over time, contributing to tissue degeneration and dysfunction. Inhaled environmental exposures accelerate this process by inducing DNA damage, telomere shortening, and mitochondrial dysfunction in lung cells. Senescent alveolar epithelial cells, for instance, are unable to regenerate the alveolar lining after injury, while senescent fibroblasts produce excessive and disorganized collagen, leading to fibrosis. The presence of senescent cells also creates a pro-inflammatory environment, as these cells secrete inflammatory cytokines and other molecules that further damage surrounding tissue. This vicious cycle of damage, senescence, and inflammation drives the progression of lung aging and chronic respiratory diseases. The impact of inhaled environmental toxins on lung health is not limited to individual behaviors like smoking. It is also influenced by broader environmental and societal factors. Air pollution, for example, is a major contributor to respiratory diseases, particularly in urban areas with high levels of vehicle emissions and industrial activity. Fine particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide are among the most harmful pollutants, as they can penetrate deep into the lungs and cause systemic inflammation. Climate change exacerbates this problem by increasing the frequency and intensity of wildfires, which release large amounts of smoke and particulate matter into the air. Occupational exposures, such as those experienced by miners, construction workers, and factory workers, also pose significant risks. Silica dust, asbestos, and coal dust are well-known culprits, but even less obvious exposures, such as those in agricultural settings, can contribute to lung damage over time. Given the significant burden of inhaled environmental exposures on lung health, it is essential to implement strategies to minimize these risks. At the individual level, avoiding tobacco smoke and reducing exposure to air pollution are critical steps. This might involve air purifiers at home, wearing masks in highly polluted areas, or choosing less polluted routes for outdoor activities. However, individual actions alone are not enough to address the scale of the problem. Cohesive national and international policies are needed to reduce carbon emissions, regulate industrial pollutants, and promote cleaner energy sources. For example, transitioning to electric vehicles, improving public transportation, and implementing stricter emission standards can significantly reduce air pollution and its impact on lung health. In addition to minimizing exposure, research into therapeutic interventions is crucial for protecting the lungs from environmental damage. Pharmacologic interventions such as anti-inflammatory drugs have shown promise in preclinical studies and could be further explored in human trials. Dietary interventions, including antioxidant supplements like vitamins B, C, and E, may also help mitigate oxidative stress and inflammation in the lungs. However, larger and more rigorous studies are needed to confirm their effectiveness. Stem cell therapies represent another exciting area of research, as they have the potential to regenerate damaged lung tissue and restore function. While still in the early stages, Studies in animal models and eventually humans could pave the way for innovative treatments that slow or even reverse lung aging. So, as you can see, inhaled environmental exposures are a major driver of premature lung aging and chronic respiratory diseases. Through mechanisms like oxidative stress, inflammation, and cellular senescence, these exposures damage lung tissue and impair its ability to repair itself, leading to structural changes and declining function. Diseases like COPD and pulmonary fibrosis are stark reminders of the devastating consequences of accelerated lung aging. Addressing this issue requires a multifaceted approach, including individual efforts to reduce exposure, policy changes to limit environmental pollutants, and research into novel therapies. By taking action on every level, from personal lifestyle choices to global policy changes, we can safeguard lung health, reduce the burden of respiratory diseases, and enhance the quality of life for millions worldwide. Our lungs are in constant contact with the outside world, making them highly susceptible to damage from pollutants, allergens, and toxins. Yet, they also possess an incredible ability to repair and adapt. This delicate balance means that while daily exposures to harmful agents poses a challenge, proactive care and targeted interventions can go a long way in preserving lung function and promoting long-term respiratory health.
If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.